hi is this am i making any noise i am okay so i had issues with my mic hi molly <laughs> so i had issues with my mic last week and i'm not sure if it's going to happen again this week but um hopefully not so yeah <laughs> So, with accompaniment from Molly, I'll be introducing what we're doing today. So, if you didn't know, um, two weeks ago, I started building the clear version of the Dynamis. So, it came in a box of five, and all of it is like clear like this. And the box is called Mobile Suit Gundam 00 First Season MS Set Clear Color. So, all of the kits from it is clear color, and there's five of them, which is... Let me take the stuff off of the box so I can actually read. So we have the Curios, the Exia, the Nadli, the Virtue, and the Dynamis. And we've already made the <coughs> Nadli and the Curios. I was like thinking which one I've made. But yeah, so we've made the Nadli and the Curios, and we are on our third Gundam, which is the Dynamis. So we're going to be continuing him today, and this is, um, two weeks ago we did this in one sitting, and apparently the frigging Gundams uh, from this is pretty, like, fragile. Maybe it's just me. Like, I mean, it falls apart quite easily, but I think it's just me. I think I'm just bad at making them, to be honest. But yeah, so we've got up until the waist, um, there was... Number three on the manual is supposed to be a weapon, but I skipped that so that we could do that last. So today we'll be doing legs. I think we still need a waist. Yeah, so the legs, the waist, and hopefully the weapons. So if we can't do the weapons, then we're just going to skip that <laughs> entirely. But yeah, so let's just get started so that we have a lot of time to do it. Okay. So let me just get everything a bit closer. Okay, so if you didn't know by the way, Molly's in the background and this is like one of the few times that she's actually sit in view of camera for the stream. So I'm gonna sit slightly off to the side so you guys can enjoy her presence. So anyways, um, since the last week, I was supposed to complete this last week, but um, I decided that I was going to do something else, which was my cube I'm sorry, I have this issue where I can't do two things at once. So I have um, the cube that I've been doing, which is the MG version of the cube And I've been waiting to finish that for like a whole almost a year I think it's like a few months it's been a few months it's been a while and I started it last year so yeah I think I started last year like September or October because I started it after the Gunpla Builders World Cup and I was planning to use that for this year's Gunpla Builders World Cup but I haven't touched it since uh, I think the beginning of this year so I think the last time I touched it was like January. So that's been a long time ago. And oh. Molly! Oh my god. Molly! No. Sorry, she likes climbing onto um, furniture. Onto like piles of stuff, which I don't think is safe. So I get mad at her. But yeah. So, we do this, the cubelay yesterday, sorry. I call yesterday, last week, because uh, I need to get get going on that. Because it's, I think it's nearing the time for it, for Gunpla Builders World Cup, like soon I think it will be held, if there's going to be one. So, I need to get moving on that. And... Because I'm planning to not just have it be a straight build, I'm planning to actually have some type of custom going on with it, even if it's not much. I feel like I should continue like sooner rather than later. 
So yeah, that's why I didn't continue to Dynamis last week. Molly! No! Oh, she's on a wobbly structure. Let me grab her. Give me a second. This is the mic. Sorry for that. She's a bit she's a bit of an ass to be honest. But she's she's a cute little ass, so we keep her around. What's wrong? Hmm? Come on. Sorry for this. Ambil bulus batang. I'm sorry, why? <laughs> Maksud? I'm sorry, aku kurang fasih kalau kayak bahasa Indo. I'm like Indonesian, but I barely understand my own language and like it's it's thing. So if it's a thing, I'm sorry if I don't understand it. Oh, okay. So yeah. Um, where was I? I think I was talking about how I was supposed to do this, like, last week. Yeah, I was <laughs> I'm sorry, my brain is not working too well. But yeah, I was supposed to do it last week, but since it's supposed to be for Grandpa Bo's World Cup, and I need to do more customs on the other one, so we decided to do the other one. Right, Molly? Also, if you guys can't see, she's actually sitting on my lap. Napa? Why, why, why? Yeah, let me show you. It's a little baby. So, it's a song. I've never, I don't really listen to a lot of songs lately. So, I don't know any songs. Yeah. Do you know any songs? Mm. No, don't lick. Gross. So, I guess we're doing a cat petting stream. I thought I was gonna do a Gundam stream. Oh, it's a children's song? I'm sorry, I only remember Nina Bobo. The bus one. Eh, not bus. Kereta, was it? Yang. Naik, blah, blah, blah. Kereta deh, kayaknya, ya. Na 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 That one lah. I don't remember. Naik kereta api, right? Yeah, that one. I remember a few, but udah lama banget. I nggak ingat. I think dulu tuh pas masih kecil jarang dinyanyi nyanyiin like nyanyian anak kecil gitu, you know? Children's songs gitu kayak jarang banget. I feel like. Apa ya dulu? Uh, ingatnya itu apa tuh? Lagunya apa sih itu yang na 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 yang ada I'm gonna live forever-nya itu loh. Apa sih? Apa sih? Itu loh, apa? It's a western song. And it was like a pop song and my dad used to blast it in the car. I think was it Celine Dion? No, it wasn't. Right? It's not. It's an old song, I know that. I don't remember. And I think dulu juga I used to listen to a lot of what's it called? Bohemian Rhapsody because my dad liked it. We had a CD in the car that was like our default stuff. Those were like mostly it. Eh? Eh? Oh, young A. This right? Yeah. It is upside down. A. This is kind of hard. Give me a second. Okay, there we go. 
So yeah. My childhood songs aren't the normal childhood like lullabies. It's it's whatever's in my dad's like car playlist. Cause he just blasts that and this was like before iPods, I think. I'm not sure if, if it was country, but it would I think pop songs that he used to listen to, but like like the old ones, you know, the borderline ballad pop songs, you know? Like Apa yeah, I don't I don't there was this one that he always played but I don't remember. It's been so long because like after the invention of the iPod and stuff like that, I would just listen to my own music in the car because I didn't vibe with his music. So I would listen to my own music, my sisters would listen to their own, and then we just live in our own worlds. Because you, we used to have to listen to his CD because it was his car. And he was driving, so, you know. A31. Ugh. Sorry, my nose is a bit itchy because my kid is very furry. And she is shedding right now. Oh, oh my god. Uh, no, it's not a girl group. I think it's usually, like, just random popular songs of the time. So, like, I think... It was it was when Bohemian Rhapsody was, like, really, really popular, I think. Though I'm not sure if it was, like, the peak of it. Because, like, I mean, everyone still knows what Bohemian Rhapsody sounds like. So... Wait, do they? Actually? Not that I'm thinking about it, cause like Gen Z might not. I'm, I'm like borderline Gen Z. Like I'm still, I'm not sure what I am to be honest. So, but I'm old enough to know about like the invention of Google. I wasn't old enough to quite understand it though. But I remember when i was young uh one of like the biggest things you could get at the time was like the biggest thing you could get at the time was blackberries and i think at the time the one of the biggest things i got as like a birthday present from my parents was the blackberry but in lavender so uh so that was like a core memory, I guess. What kind of music do I like? Um, it's changed here and there. I think, like, I like three types of music mainly. The first one being, like, rock. The second one being K-pop. third one being, like, J-pop. So, but I think I like rock the best. So there's that, I guess. Am I? Is this right? Yes. No. I do like rock the best, I think, because like my Spotify rap is always, is always, um, rock is always the first. So, I'm sorry, my nose is really itching because my kid is very very furry it's it's been due time for a bath for a long time for her like i've been skipping but uh i haven't had the time to go so we haven't given her bath so it's been a really really long time also we're supposed to be putting a sticker here but i i decided not to because i don't know i don't think i'm gonna like it so we're just gonna leave it blank So B twenty one name the band. Um, which one? Yeah, I have a few that I like. Uh, one of them is Skillet. I like Skillet. Um, and then oh, uh, one of my other like favorite bands. Like I haven't really had an album where it's a complete miss from like Skillet and also this one. Oh Jesus Christ, that's really loud. Oh, hello, welcome, welcome. 
Uh, anyways, we're talking about my favorite time music, and uh, my answer for now is like, I think it's rock. I'm pretty sure it's rock. My Spotify rap is usually rock. And then we're naming the band. So one of them being Skillet. Um, I don't think there's an album where it's just like a complete miss. There's always at least that one song that I'm completely obsessed with. Um, I love their new al- like their newer album. I'm not sure if it's the newest. Um, it's title one is I think the title song is "Standing in the Storm." I'm not sure if it's the title title like the title song. I mean, but I for I forgot the title of the album. But I know that that's one of the main songs. Hold on, I'm sorry. Another band that I haven't really had an album where I just completed completely hated everything is Set It Off. I have so far really liked everything that they've um put out. Their newer one elsewhere is also um an album that I really thoroughly enjoy. There's only like one song that I don't really like because it's a bit too slow. I I'm not the biggest fan of slow songs because they make me kinda sleepy. But that's like a personal preference, and the only reason I don't like that song is because it's slow. Like, if it was a bit faster, I think I would really, really enjoy it. So yeah, I think that. Another one that I really like is Thousand Foot Crutch. Sorry. So TFK is a good, like, rock band as well, I think. I think they, I think they all constitute as rock, I'm pretty sure. But two of them so far that I've mentioned, um, it's like Christian rock, so it's it's like religious rock, although it doesn't really strike me as like religious rock. Like I don't feel like it sounds too much like Hallelujah Jesus Christ all the time. So like that's I guess that's also like a part of why I kind of like it. Like if I was going to be listening to gospel songs, I'd go to church. But yeah, I like their stuff. I think there's other other ones, but I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. I forgot what other ones I listened to. I used to listen to a lot of Arctic Monkeys. I wait, did am I doing this right? Is it like this? No, it's like this. So why won't it stick here? Oh, because it's the wrong hole. So yeah. Ah, okay, sure. You should listen to them. They're pretty. They're pretty cool. I don't know if it'll be your taste, but it is mine. I really like them. Um. Although I think for like, set it off. Their newest song, the one with punching bag, as their title song. I'm not sure if it's a new album. Or if it's a single, but I prefer elsewhere. Um, elsewhere, I think is more. I don't know, more different maybe. I like Skeleton and Projector because it's like one of their what's it called? One of their like title songs, but it's not my favorite song. I think my favorite from that album is. Wait, what? Oh, it's this. It's pretty mundane to be honest. It's cordial. So that that one's like my favorite, but like it's a pretty mundane song. If you're into something more um different, I guess it's skeleton or projector. Their beat is less um generic. C5. Uh there are a lot of songs where the beat was good, but I had no idea what they were saying. Yeah, Arctic Monkeys will do that to you, isn't it? But I think, um, I'm not sure, but I, I have a feeling the one I'm going to mention is like their most famous album. It's the one with Are You Mine. That's the album that I first heard. I don't remember how I heard Arctic Monkeys the first time, honestly. But it is... It was it was pretty nice, so I I kept listening. I think one of their songs that I really like, just because it's like fun, and like it's not really that heavy or anything, is um, 
bet you'd look good on the dance floor. It's it's really fast paced and I really like it. You mostly like the strokes. I don't think I've ever heard of that one. Maybe I'll I'll try to look it up and give it a listen. Cause I've been meaning to expand the bands that I'm listening to and stuff. But this isn't going in. But I haven't really had the time to like scroll around, you know? Cause I've been just putting on whatever on my playlist and just like letting it letting it repeat for hours and hours on end. I think it's just maybe it's just me, but like I like to listen to like literally one song for a few sorry, <laughs> for like a few months at a time maybe, like it like a really long time. I'll just listen to that one song. And then when I finally get sick of it, that's when that's when we change it up. But yeah. But those are the bands that I really really like so far. I mostly listen to Arctic Monkeys until the fourth album. To be honest, I'm not really sure what which one the fourth album is. I I don't really listen to music like per album either. To be honest, because like the the thing with like set it off let's say i can tell you that like most of their albums don't really have a song that miss for me is because i've accidentally listened to the whole album uh i've just accidentally let it run on youtube like i don't actively choose to listen to a full album usually so if i can tell you about the whole album it's probably because i've listened to it but but by accident because I I don't know. I don't really I don't really feel like scrolling through their whole set list like through any band's whole set list like no matter how much I like them to be honest. Cuz like I'm I'm a big fan of BTS, but like I don't listen to all of their songs cuz I'm I don't know. I'm I have a thing, I guess. Like I can't focus on the whole album. It's got to be like one song at a time. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the follow. Wait, where am I? 23. Yeah. So, maybe it's just me. I'm pretty sure it's just me. But like, I don't know. I don't like listening to the whole album at at a time. It's just that sometimes when I'm working, I get really focused that I don't really like do anything else. So sometimes YouTube if I'm not listening on Spotify, then youtube will play similar songs or songs in the same album and that's how i'll get to listen to the whole album cuz yeah youtube be doing that cuz like sometimes i don't i don't realize it but i click on a playlist instead of like the single song so so there's that are you minus from the fifth album ah okay so Although I'm pretty sure are you minus like their most isn't it like their most famous song out of all? I'm pretty freaking sure that it is though to be honest, right? Cuz eh wait. No, we haven't done this one. Why am I doing it? <laughs> Why am I flipping it? We haven't done it. But yeah. So there's that. I guess what else? I guess that's that about about my taste in music. What about you guys? What songs or bands are you guys listening to um at the moment other than the strokes? So, let's while I'm cutting these out and stuff, we can chat about that maybe or anything else maybe that you guys are interested in like um I mean what else? What else? What else can you really talk about though when it comes to your favorite music and stuff? Wait, are we? 33:30. Is it? Oh, it's this one. I'm sorry. I really wasn't um my nose wasn't running until I started going live and I I, I don't know why. It's it's just decided to keep running. 
it's it's really unclear to me why my nose has a vendetta against me but yeah you like ghost and zeppelin ah okay i've heard of zeppelin i haven't heard of ghost maybe i just i don't know maybe it's just me but I'm not really the type to venture out and listen to music because I seek new music, if that makes sense. I will accidentally stumble upon new music, but I will not seek out for it cuz I don't know, I I'm not I'm not the type to. Uh uh they do some Oh wait. I like comedy bands sometimes like Ninja Six Party. They do some 80s covers, but I like whatever sounds good to me. Ah, okay, that makes sense. I also don't really usually think about genre when I'm listening to music to be honest. I just if I like it, I just keep it going. If I don't like it, then if I don't like it, then well, you just stop. Like I'll just turn it off or I'll change it into something I know I will like and then let let it go from there. But it turns out that my taste does um mainly hover around the rock area so there's that that I've learned I guess about myself I didn't know this about myself until like recently as well cuz like back in college right because I'm not sure if it was because I wanted to fit in or if I genuinely liked these types of songs but I was into EDM which like I'm not really anymore now cuz like if I listen to the songs that I used to listen to in college um and I used to claim to enjoy them I don't remember if I really did or not I think I did but now that I'm listening to it again it feels like they're not that great because EDM or like dance music um is very repetitive and there's not really that much lyrics that you can sing to and now now that I've kind of like grown into my like grown into myself a bit more and figured out just exactly what kind of stuff that I like I figure out that I don't like things that don't have lyrics so I love things that has lyrics because I like singing so I like humming to myself but I like singing to myself better you know and EDM really just doesn't do it for you because then you'll be singing something like uh what I forgot a lot of EDM songs man I used to listen to a lot of them I don't really like them now it's it's really like like there's songs that are coming into my head but there's nothing you can sing it's it's just like beat that drops goes back up and then drops again and it's only your songs end and i don't i don't remember exactly why i like them but yeah i used to like them and i used to want to go to like um festivals like a uh, like music festivals to kind of know what it feels like now it doesn't really sound like a good idea to me like i don't i don't think i'll enjoy it to be to be quite frank in fact i think i'll hate it <laughs> uh because like i've grown to hate loud stuff or like i've grown to understand that i don't like loud things because i used to not understand that i don't like certain things but it would tick me off so at least now i know what ticks me off you know if that makes sense but yeah there's apparently a lot of things that take me off that I don't really like I didn't know but I don't think going to like a concert or a festival is something that I would thoroughly enjoy cuz like I think I'd much rather be at home with a pair of headphones or blasting my music by myself you know cuz or maybe there's is that just like getting older? I don't know. Maybe it's just me getting older, you know? Maybe maybe I've just realized that I just you know, when you know that thing when like 
you like to party in your 20s and improve in your 30s and stuff. Zip! Although I'm not 30 yet, so I don't know where- oops. I have no idea where my youth went. I'm not even 30 yet, like I'm not even close to being 30 yet. But I act like I'm 30. Like I have a- well I don't sleep that early because I don't sleep easy. But- sorry. But- other than that, I'm like 30 on the inside, man. Because I don't like going out that much. The only times I go out is when there's something in it. Like, like if I'm going out to like an event for cosplaying, then I'm going because I want to cosplay something. It's not really because I like being in the crowd or anything. I guess that part of me is still young. But yeah, I don't really like staying out out like hanging out too late either nowadays man i'm really old on the inside i feel like a grandma on the inside is this this is this not no that's the back right yeah i feel like a grandma on the inside but on the outside i'm still pretty young oh right and then we have that that part which is this one sorry but I think my limit for going out into crowds is basically just going for cosplay events and maybe like like for hobbies I would go to events like for Gunpla then I'd go for like Gunpla Builders World Championship also because like there's the thing what's it called the stores that I, that I can go browse I do I do like the fact that sometimes you'll get like you'll find unexpected friendship from that but it's not like I go out seeking for friends if that makes sense like I don't go out looking around being like hey I want new friends befriend me you know like it's not like I go out screaming that on the top of my lungs so there's that but <laughs> But it is an unexpectedly nice surprise when someone does end up becoming your friend. <coughs> Sorry. I think as like as I grow, as I get older, I've just like been more comfortable with my introverted self because I think I used to force myself to go out a lot. And I'd get really drained from all my endeavors, all my hangouts with the same people that like that drain me that I didn't really like that much but hang out with nonetheless because they were my friends. They didn't turn out to be great friends so I in any case my gut was correct but I was stupid so <laughs> it turned so they didn't turn out to be great friends but yeah I should have listened to my gut and stayed home more but I wanted to stay friends with these people at the time oh oh crap I don't have water next to me I forgot about my rewards you know what give me a second let me grab some water I'll be back in a minute max
Sorry. <laughs> I guess it's the OBS sometimes, you know, messes up. Anyways, um, so anyways, I haven't really drank for how many hours now? Because I've been painting this whole time, and I get really, I get really into my work when I'm enjoying it. So that's been that's been a thing. Um, if you didn't know, I make Warhammer miniatures. Like I paint them. Then now you know. But before Warhammer, I wait. Is this wrong? It is. It is. Isn't it? Wait. Oh, okay. So before Warhammer miniatures, I was more interested in this other game called Malifo. So I think honestly, Malifo is. It's more of my style, the minis, I mean. Also, the miniatures that I got, they're really detailed. They look really great. But um, there's no one that plays Malifaux here, so nobody can teach me how to play the damn game. So that's why I ended up being more into Warhammer. But Malifaux is more skirmish than Warhammer, so I was like more interested in that. Also, because like it's more skirmish, it makes the army that you have the army that you have um have more personality so like your army consists of uh, there's one that's a boy with his dog but like a ghoul dog looking thing it's fantasy based so the ideas are really cool so like if you haven't heard of Malifaux, you should probably look it up because I I really think their concept is really cool. They also even have this like um, their skins uh of like certain characters that they m like. There's this one character Zoraida. She's a witch um, and she's like this old woman. But they had this kit, a limited edition kit, where it's a Halloween special. So she's actually like from the Hocus Pocus witch. Uh, so there's three of them from that box. Three three of like the girls. And then you get little pumpkins as well. It's really cool. And then they have this giant teddy bear that reminds me of, if you play League of Legends, reminds me of Annie's Tibbers. <coughs> Sorry, give me a second. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. So yeah, they have these really cool ones. They have these like really cool concepts of like fairy tales, I guess. Cause there's one based on Little Red Riding Hood. It's really cool. Honestly, like if you've never seen it, you should check it out. I, I highly recommend. They're really cool. Although again, I don't know how to play it. I've never played it before. I've only bought a few boxes. And then I realized, hey, I can't play this for shit because nobody has taught me. And the thing is, right, when I look up how to play online, it's not too helpful. Like, I don't feel like I understand it at all. Like, it's it seems pretty complicated. Maybe at the time it's because I have never really played any kind of game like that before. Now that I played Warhammer, maybe if I if I take a look at the rules again, like at the video explaining the rules again, maybe I'll understand it more. But at the time, I couldn't get it. So that's why I ended up being sucked into Warhammer. Like, more into Warhammer at least. So I was going to start Malifaux instead, but, you know, I guess God didn't plan it that way. So, I'm so sorry, I ate already, but my stomach acid is like, acting up. I don't know why, but I have this issue with my stomach, maybe it's like, um, an inherited thing, because my mom also has the same issue, so she has really bad, like, acid reflux, and I think I got it from her, because like, honestly, I, it, it was 
was terrible. But like, I've I've never really had issues with it until now. So I was incapac ca incapacitated. What's wrong with my mouse today? <laughs> incapacitated. This like, er, this whole half week, the early part of the week, because of my freaking acid reflux. So yeah, and I think it's kind of not still not doing too great. But I've been eating a little bit, like, more willy-nilly. Maybe I should start watching it again. With all the minis in Gunpla, what's your display area looking like? Super full? Yes. It is very full. So, um, I have, I still live with my parents. So, I, uh, they got this, um, display thing for, like, our TV. So, our TV pretty big and then after that we have like this whole shelf situation outside of that with one on the side that can act as a display case so I've kind of taken control of that display case outside so and that's already like really full but that's all just Gundams and then inside um, I have one smaller display case inside my room I have one display case and it's a mixed display case. So there's Gundams and then there's uh, a tier for miniatures. But then, because I have so many of these stuff, and I've run out of place to put them, you will see, like if, you've ev if you ever like come to my place, you will see Gundams scattered on my PC table, miniatures also on my PC table. There will be Gundams outside on the shelf that's not my display area. There's also miniatures outside that is not my display area, and then there's a miniature right now that I'm painting that's on the that's on the table outside, so it's just really full, and yeah, I I don't know what to say about that to be honest, other than I'm sorry, mom and dad. I'll 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 figure it out when I move out, but for now, for now you'll have to deal with me. <laughs> So yeah, there's that. It's really, really full. There's one, there's a shin, shin, Shinanju, Shinanju clear version on top of my PC right now. Um, there's three Warhammer miniatures right in front of me. Um, under my little shelf that's holding up my PC. You know what? Let me let me move it. Let me take the picture. So these. I consider Gundams their plamo. These are apiches. Um, if you weren't here when I explained about this, this was this is a Korean Korean chatting platform called Kakao Talks mascot. It's one of the mascots that they have. It's a lot. They have a lot of mascots. Um, this one being one of them. It's a little peach and it has a little butt on the back. So these are already under the shelf. Right here, you can see. Oh, you can't. There's two here. These are Warhammer miniatures. And then there's one over here. There's this over here. This is uh, the Nobel. I've been wanting to paint it. So the head is off. But I haven't gone to it. And then there's this Haro Change mobile suit. And then let me just grab my fire. These are my brimstone horrors. Let me move this back first. So we have the whole army um, the whole Zinch army of brimstone horrors. Let me, let me fix this. Give me a sec. Okay, so a whole army of brimstone horrors, one set out here because I haven't finished painting the grass. So this is what I want it to look like. Uh, it's it's a pretty subtle difference, but yeah. So this. Um, I've dry brushed some black and red on the grass to make it look kind of burnt. These still look really fresh and green and I just haven't done that so I haven't put them away. So yeah, my desk is very full already. And not only that, I now have like this, I, I have a sneaking suspicion that I'll have another thing that I want to collect. Um, so this is the thing that I've been like, I just got this and Kaisa, 
So this is Lux from League of Legends, and then I got another one, which is Kaisa from League of Legends. This is not um Nendo's peaked at like 2012, I think. So this isn't really because I wanted Nendo's in the first place. I wanted one specific Nendo and I think I will follow it up with another one specific Nendo and then be done with it until I have like other Nendo's that I really really want. But I got these at such a good price. So I ended up buying more. But yeah, so the Nendo that I actually wanted was Jinx. Um, Jinx League of Legends. But that was sold out and I don't know where to get any. So while scrolling, I found these two for like a really good price and then I ended up buying that. So I am, am I ashamed of myself? Kind of, to be honest. Because I am buying a lot of things. And also like I don't have any more display space. Like at all. So I don't know how I will be displaying this. Um, that's why they're still in their boxes because I, I, I want to take them out and I want to get that little like shark uh, face plate thing so you, you can keep the face plate on a little shark body or a whale body they have like different ones right shark whale I think there's bear uh, and I just I just wanted um, one of those but I can't take them out yet because I don't have space so they'll be in the box for a little bit more so there's that, um, yeah, so I have a lot of things that I probably shouldn't, to be honest. <coughs> Sorry. But I don't know why I really like collecting things. So yeah, so I end up collecting a lot of shit. <laughs> This thirty nine and thirty eight, right? So let's cut these out while we're at it. So if you're asking about my display spaces, virtually none. None left. My wallet never knows what it feels like to be full. That's true. Yeah, right? And the thing is, right, I don't just collect, so I also like, I also cosplay, so that's another thing that my wallet is crying for and my storage space is also crying for. The only thing that's never felt full is my frigging wallet and the only thing that's only felt full is my storage space. So there's that, like my closet is right now full of my own clothes and then now I'm adding a lot of like cosplay stuff to it too so like I really don't know where I'm gonna be putting most of my stuff to be quite honest with you like I don't know where I'm gonna move on to if I literally do run out of space like I think uh, I think I won't be able to figure it out like I'll maybe just put everything on the floor at that point like new Gundam boxes on the floor you go unbuilt Warhammer miniatures on the floor you go because there's literally no space and like the thing is right again I f I'm still living with my parents right so I'm I'm living in a shared household so it's not like I can go to their room and just like put everything there I already take up the living room I know like um, I'm a mess out there because it is it is not my house but it's like not much choice on my end to be honest oh 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 no oh okay so it's oh oh okay so i didn't cut it neat enough cuz the bite marks are stopping it from going in Is it that high? It is apparently. Okay. Okay, that should be good. Put it. No? Is it not good yet? 
Oh, it's still too tall. I need to push it more, but I've got no strength. It's just one of my issues building Gundams, honestly. Because I'm not strong enough to put it together. Like, I need help. I always need help. Is this... Is this correct? Like, is there something on the end that maybe is not allowing it to go in? I don't... Is that... Is that supposed to be a nub, though? It's not. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I've cut the nubs. I'm sorry, I'm gonna figure this out before <laughs> I continue speaking on anything else because I'm getting confused. Okay, so this one fits better. I don't know why. Is it? Okay, so it's supposed to kind of click in. Oh! Okay. Maybe if I... I can't even take it off. What the hell? Okay, so... What do I do? I can't... It doesn't go in any further. Oh, thank you for the follow. Is it because I was, like, looking confused? Sorry. <laughs> it's really loud sometimes, and I don't know how to <laughs> make it less loud. Because I, I use the setting for the rest of the PC, so, like, I don't know how to make just the notification less loud. I'm, I'm not that tech-savvy, to be honest. It's not... It's not going in. I don't know how to snap it in. The worst is when you need to separate them when you make a mistake. I don't have their fancy part separator. So, like, I have a fancy part separator somewhere in this house, right? Because it looks like a guitar pick. Uh, so I've lost it. However, the last time I used it, I bent it. So I bent one of the edges because it's pretty thin plastic. That's really loud. <laughs> Hello. Welcome. Welcome to my stream. I'm sorry, but like loud notifications sometimes startle me. But yeah. So I have a part separator that I kind of almost broke the side of. So I don't use it anymore because I get scared of breaking it. Which, like, I don't see a reason why I should be. Oh, what? I never cut this, but okay. Of why I should um, be scared of breaking a part separator. They're not exactly the most expensive thing in the world. And also, they're not that hard to find. And also, it's kind of like their job to get the parts separated anyways. But I use an X-Acto knife, but sometimes work warps the plastic even if it does the job, right? But the thing is, right, uh, it's not really warping the plastic that I'm scared of. It's cutting the plastic. Because exacto knives are sharp, and they are metal, so they're gonna be a lot stronger than your plastic. So I I don't think I'd recommend using that. Okay, so finally, eh? Did I miss something on the torso? Oh God! Hmm. It did. <gasps> I did! I just unlifted this. Oh, what do I do now? Oh, shit. Oh, crap. I can't put it together then, if that's the case. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus Christ. What have I done? Okay. Slowly, slowly. No. No. How did I forget the PC? I I just I just like my nail just broke off, so I can't use it. I should I should be using some tool to be honest. But the thing is, right? Even with a tool, I don't really have that much strength to pry it open. So, <sighs> for crap's 
sake. Oh, oh, oh. So I have to really work with what I've got. This is also why, in case you didn't know, like my thumbnail is usually pretty long. Because when I build, I need a part separator, and that's like a built in part separator. Ah, okay. Come on. I'm scared of breaking it. Yeah, see, the part is separated, right? I don't know if you guys can see, but the part is separated enough that it's pretty easy to put your fingernails in, which is like around the size of a part separator. But I won't budge. Ow, that's sharp. My other thumb has literally like zero fingernails. <laughs> okay, give me a second. Mm. Uh, wait. on I built the front part and it has fallen apart not the back I need the back to come off not the front Damn it. Ah! oh thank god okay it's what was it what, what did I miss is it B it is B <sighs> honestly Thank you for the words of encouragement. This happens way too often, honestly. More than I'd like to admit. Because this is not great. And I don't want to spend my time doing this, like opening. Wait, is this supposed to face outwards? How's this supposed to face? Oh, it's not straight. No? Is it inwards? No, it's supposed to. S what? Where? Hmm? Where? And this is why we try not to do this. Hmm? Nani? What the f fuck what it's okay what wait 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 what oh wait 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 it's on the inside like this and then it goes in like this wait, does it okay so I'm doing this wrong Okay, okay, okay. It's this way. No. That way. This way. No? Eh? Yeah, yeah, it is. What? What is wrong with me? Okay, so it's this way. I think I have a thing about directions, man. Like, I'm not very great telling directions apart. Okay. So then this, and then this, a lot of the parts are already attached, which is honestly not ideal, but it's fine. Okay, snap back perfectly, thank god. Okay, and then we can put this over, oh god, I remember having trouble with this. Okay, come on. Great. And then we can put this together. Tell me you're in. No, come on. Okay. Better. And then this. And then this. Where's the legs? Ah, here we go. Ah! 
finally, we have the whole dynamis together minus the backpack. Oh, thank God. Okay, so this is the dynamis without its backpack. We have the waste unit attached. It has a little thrusters on the inside, which I think is really cool. So let's do the backpack, which is this stuff here. It is almost done. Uh, it's very close to being done. I had a little mishap with the torso. Apparently I forgot to put a PC part in the middle so I couldn't attach the torso to the waist. Thank you! It does look nice. Is it your favorite double O suit? I think my, I, I think my favorite is still the Xia. Xia is really pretty. I know it's pretty basic to answer that my favorite double O suit is like the Xia, but honestly, it's really pretty. It's probably a really basic answer though, isn't it? But yeah, so I think I need to cut my nail after this. Like I think I broke a bit of it trying to pry the waist. I mean the torso apart from each other, to be honest, it was really tough. So need to fix up my nail. I don't know if you can see the stress marks on my thumb. You can kind of. There's like a lighter part in the middle of my thumb. There's like stress marks on my thumb. Okay, so let's cut all the pieces out for the backpack so that we can finally finish it minus weapons because uh, my hands are a bit tired for weapons I think like I feel like my thumb is about to fall off it's my fault but like I don't know that, that was stupid honestly I can't believe I forgot a full PC part maybe it's just like maybe when I was doing it I wasn't really paying attention or maybe I was distracted honestly probably both I get distracted quite easily and then I keep forgetting like where I'm at or what I'm supposed to be doing you know so I can fully understand either of those scenarios I need C 14 and 12 14 is this one so cut that out and 12 this one Okay, so we're gonna need to assemble this first. This goes here, and then this goes here. Oh, okay. Sorry, I got shocked. There was like a really loud notification. So let's put this. Am I doing this backwards? I hope not. Okay, maybe it's this then like that and then it goes here oh that fits really nicely and then this goes on this and then this goes here like that oh and that's one wing. I'm not sure if I was visible while doing all that. I'm sorry if I was not. But there's one, and let's do the other side. So 15. Oh! It's not. I can't get close enough. So 15. And then 7. And then nine. Okay, there we go. And then we need eleven and the other one. So let's cut eleven first. They're almost exactly the same. I don't know. I don't know how I'll be t able to tell them apart because I don't care about that to be honest. 
Is it clean? It's clean enough, right? I think we can clean it up a bit. So there we go. Oh! And then that goes here. Like so. Then this goes like this. Then it goes. So, there we go, we have two sets, and we can move on. We're finally almost done, wait, what? 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 What's that? Hmm? What's that? What? What? What's that? that come from? A? What do you mean, A? What? 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 Hmm? <gasps> oh, I think we missed a part. Ah, here it is. So it's B5 and C7. Where is it? B5. I don't know if this will be used together, but there's one where it's used together. So C7. C7. Here it is. Do we do it with the other arm as well? There's no explanation on the other arm, so I don't know if that's a thing, but here we go. Ow. Sharp. Okay, there we go. And then, right. So, we're supposed to take it off anyways, right? But then, we put this one in. And this one in. Sorry for that. Okay. Eh? Where does this go? How? What? Then where does how does this attach? Oh. oh, it slots on. How? 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 How it slot on? <gasps> oh, you put it inside one. Okay, so you flip that down a bit, and then you slot it on. There we go. Okay, that makes some semblance of a sense. I think I want it on this side, can I? It's a bit... Cannot, uh. Okay. So, we do the other one now. So it's a also C7. And the other one is B4. We don't have a gun yet, so... Can't really add the gun. I'm not really keen on making the gun today. So. Eee. It's not going in. Okay, there we go. Flip it in. And then we slide that in. Is that it? I think that's it. Actually, maybe let's make the gun. It's like only that one thing left. Yeah, let's make the gun. Why the heck not? It's only been an hour and 15 minutes anyways. 
Okay, so the only thing that we missed out last time was making the gun, which is literally just this one part, so let's do that. Uh, does this version of Dynamis come with a GN pistol? So you get one sniper gun. One sniper rifle, and that's it. And I think we also get... We get the handles for the sabers. I don't recall seeing the actual sabers. So, we're gonna take the gun, and then we're gonna put it on the side. So... C18... C21 and C19. Where's 21? I think I'm gonna cut that one first. Because I just know, I just know that I'm gonna miss it if I don't. So I'm gonna cut it. But yeah, so we have literally one sniper rifle. Uh, I think just, literally just the handle. It's the one that we put onto the waist parts. So there's that on the waist, just the handle. I don't think that they gave you the actual like sabers for it unfortunately but I think it should fit with whatever saber that you do have like extra sabers because like I bet there are some that you don't really use right if you have a lot of gun Gundams because I have a few that I don't really use so should be able to put that with that so long as the it's the one where the bottom is kind of like rectangle and flat so this this goes here how? like that and then we push it out okay and we put this together hopefully I didn't do this wrong because I don't want to open it again okay and then we do C20 20 and then there's an interchangeable part where it could be A18 or C23 so I think since I'm going for putting it onto the Gundam like as an accessory not as a thing like not as a weapon right now then I think we'll go for C23 so that it lays flat because A18 is for mounting it so since I'm not mounting it on anything not for poses so we'll just do this one until I decide that I want to do it for the pose this together is this is this how is this how we're supposed to be doing it have i done this correctly yeah i think so okay i needed some kind of validation for myself i don't remember where i've put the stickers it is somewhere here i hope this then we can take is it correct is it this one yeah it is so this one this holographic green looking one I think it's visible should be visible and then we can put it on this okay This tree face gotta be with this one. Okay. Is this the only type of sticker that I like? Sorry for the silence, by the way. Because, like, it's metallic and it makes it look pretty. So, okay. So we're going to go back to the back. We're going to take off this one. Or do we? Do we need to? I don't think we need to. Do we just slot it in? I think we do. We just slot it in like that, right? Oop, oop, oop. Oh, it's too big. Oh, I just want this guy. <gasps> there we go. So you can slot it in like this. 
or you can that's supposed to be a little bit more on the outside isn't it so you can kind of cover it I think mm, 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 wait why give me a sec let me think oh I've put the panels on the wrong sides this big panel okay let's pull it off <coughs> that's why I was like what why does it look different okay so it's this one's here so it can cover the gun like this and then this one here ah! okay great so you can actually do the thing do the, like the cloaking situation Ta-da! There you go. It's cloaked. Yeah, it looks nice. I'm I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it looks really cool like this, but I'm gonna keep it open. I think, cause I think it looks it looks cooler open, so you can see all the little details in the middle. Ta-da! The dynamas. Finally, it's done. So we can finally continue to the next one next week, which I think, if I'm not wrong, is going to be the virtue. So since, as previously mentioned, we have five of these, and I've done the curios and the Nadli, we have the virtue. We have the virtue and the Exia to go, and since we just and we just finished this one, so we have two more left. So hopefully we'll be able to get those done really soon. So yeah, so we'll be continuing next week with the virtue, and then after the virtue is complete, then we'll go to Exia, and then we'll see if I want to do season two right away, or we're gonna do other like kits first because I have kits that I want to build. Uh, I have. I have a lot of kits that I want to build. I think I have the Echo Pla that I want to make. The pink one is, I think, Justice. I forgot. And then I have a Nao Zeong that I want to build. I have the Rooms in Zulu. I have a lot of kits that I want to build. So, yeah. Hopefully, um, we'll be able to make whatever it is that we want to make soon. Glad I could catch the stream again. Thanks. Uh, I'm glad that I could see you here again. I will keep building. Thank you. You have fun too when you build. And yeah, Neo Zeong. I've so the thing is right. I've been wanting the Jinx an Android because I want to make a Jinx inspired mecha with the Neo Zeong. But I haven't been able to find it. So hopefully I'll be able to find it soonish. Or maybe who knows? Maybe I'll just like bite the dust and make it with one of the Nendos that I do have. But yeah. Thanks you guys for joining my stream. I really do appreciate it when you guys join and like chat with me and accompany me build my stuff and hopefully I've accompanied you do whatever it is that you want to do while you're watching me and hopefully I've been entertaining enough for the last hour or so and I really do hope to see you guys again soon next week maybe hopefully if nothing goes wrong that I stream every week. I used to stream on Thursdays too, but um, I've been busy, so <laughs> um, so hopefully I'll see you again next week, and yeah, uh, I think that should be it, so I'll see you soon, bye!